Minister Farnworth, is 500 Canadian Armed Services personnel working in BC enough to deal with this storm and the recovery work to come? Is uh, BC planning to request more help? Uh, if we need to request more help, uh, we will request uh, more help. Uh, so in terms of additional troops, that's that's not a problem right now. Uh, we have uh, troops in uh, all the, uh, the key areas, uh, whether it is on the, the Fraser Valley, uh, whether it has been in the, the Princeton area, or on Vancouver Island, um, they are deployed to uh, to where the uh, where we're being told they're needed. And if we need additional ones, uh, they will be sent right away. And on top of that, I'd also uh, add as well, uh, the Canadian Armed Forces base or the Air Force base in uh, in Comox is also standing by and ready uh, to assist uh, with uh, with aircraft resources as well, as is the Esquimalt uh, Naval Base. Mira, do you have a follow up? Yes, uh, and this is a question for Environment Canada. Can you confirm that the Fraser Valley will not see rain amounts of 150 to 200 millimeters during the storm? Will that area avoid the worst of the rain this time? So very similarly, and thank you for the question, similarly, uh, the area around the border of Washington State will be likely closer to that 50, 60 millimeters from uh, Abbotsford, uh, Chilliwack, uh, and, and particularly westward, whereas Chilliwack and Abbotsford could see closer to 80 millimeters. So it is perhaps a slight bump up from what we saw this past weekend. Uh, so large amounts, but definitely not 100 to 200 millimeters. You have to be on the west coast of Vancouver Island, uh, on the outside coast of the central coast, and down through Kinkham Inlet, perhaps to see the 200 range. Uh, and that would be in elevated terrain uh, in that southwest facing uh, slope orientation. Next question is from Ben Milger. Next question is from Ben Milger, CTV. Uh, thank you. Um, we've already seen this uh, in one neighborhood in Abbotsford, but when it comes to landslides, in addition to highways, there are uh, local neighborhoods that could be at risk. Uh, is there any advice for people who live on or near saturated hillsides and may be wondering about the stability of the slopes around their houses? Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, on the ground, uh, experts and crews have been out to, uh, to assess uh, areas that may be problematic. Uh, and if there is a concern, then obviously an evacuation alert would be put in place. Uh, and so people uh, should be paying attention uh, to, the, uh, to the directions uh, from, their local, from their local officials. Ben, do you have a follow-up? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, in terms of the dikes and the tiger dams that were installed uh, uh, recently in Abbotsford, how are they holding up in advance of this expected uh, deluge of rain? Uh, from what I'm hearing from the, the city of, uh, of Abbotsford and the, uh, the crews and the people on the ground, uh, they're very confident uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the repairs and the improvements that have been made in the form of tiger, tiger dams uh, and the sandbagging that has been taking place and the involvement of uh, not just uh, volunteers but our Canadian forces uh, and the, uh, the crews uh, on the ground in Abbotsford. Uh, there has been a significant amount of, uh, of, of preparation done uh, and so uh, they're, feeling, they're feeling confident but obviously uh, you know, we, uh, we have to be prepared, uh, as they say, uh, prepare for the worst and, uh, and hope for the best. And, uh, and that's, what, uh, that's what everybody's doing. Next question is from Jyoti Gruel, Fraser Valley Current. Hi, yes. Um, so the Fraser Valley Regional District um, is expressing concerns about um, needing permission and money from the province to do urgent work to prepare for and prevent flooding. Can you speak to what the delays are? It's none. There is no request for permission for urgent repairs uh, to prevent flooding. Jyoti, do you have a follow-up? Uh, yes. Uh, can you, uh, for Minister Fleming, how long will it take to complete Highway 1 repairs at uh, Jackass Mountain between Booth Road and Lytton? Uh, yeah, thank you for the question. Um, We'll update on uh, the progress there. That's obviously an area where uh, CN Rail is working alongside Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure. Uh, so it's, uh, it's hard going work. Uh, there's no question about that. Um, but there are crews both uh, for rail and highway uh, assisting one another to gain access and to get material in there and, uh, and, and make those repairs. But specifically, we'll have uh, uh, an update on that uh, perhaps later this week. We have one more question today. Richard Zussman, Global News.
Uh, Minister Farnworth, last week uh, you were optimistic that we could have an atmospheric uh, river um, alert system and rating system in place by early next year. Uh, my understanding is you've been told that it may take longer than that. You know, is there a possibility that we could not see a system like this in BC for, you know, more than a year, if not longer? Uh, and, and what should people be concerned about that? Um, I know that uh, work is underway. Um, I had initially been uh, been told that it would be uh, January. I've heard that it, it may well, in fact, uh, be later than that. Um, and obviously, I'm glad that the work is underway and that we're going to get one. Um, I think what's important is that we're able to have a better understanding uh, of the nature of atmospheric rivers. And so I think when we're hearing, you know, from Environment Canada, uh, the kinds of, of, of reports that we have been getting in terms of the significant amounts of rainfall, uh, the potential on that, uh, coupled with uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the information we've also uh, have received in terms of, of you know, the, the Americans use a, a system as well. I think that we will be, we will be prepared uh, in terms of dealing with uh, events like this. Um, it's always, you know, uh, nice to be able to have an, an, an extremely... Um, this Posed as soon as possible, uh, but I'm glad that it's underway and uh, it, uh, it, it's not going to hinder us in our ability uh, to, uh, to be prepared for future events. Richard, do you have a follow-up? How long have you been told uh, that the river uh, system uh, uh, program may be delayed? Um, I'm not in a position at this point to comment on, on, on how long it will, uh, it will take. What I can tell you is that it is being worked on. Uh, I hope that it is being done as expeditiously as possible. And obviously, given the, uh, the events of this, uh, of this past few weeks, uh, I would hope that uh, it becomes uh, very much a, a priority. We have one more question. We're going to add to the queue. Cindy White, Castanet. Hi there. This question is for Armel. I'm wondering about the rising uh, freezing level and the possibility of uh, avalanches or other events on the highways further east that could cut us off from the east. Are we watching that? Go ahead. Hi, thank you for the question. Uh, absolutely, with the freezing levels climbing as high as they are uh, this deep into fall and, and early winter, in fact, um, the, there, there are ramifications for the snowpack at higher elevations. Um, Avalanche Canada and uh, Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure are uh, obviously uh, looking at that very closely. Uh, we provide them the weather elements there and uh, we are in consultation with them uh, throughout the winter so that uh, all best case decisions can be made uh, according to the, the potential avalanche risk. Cindy, do you have a follow up? Yeah, for Armel as well. What is Environment Canada doing to prepare for the possibility of these kind of events happening more often? I know um, particularly rain on snow. Um, I covered the Calgary flood, so that was a major factor in that. It uh, seems to be happening more often. Is it something that you're looking at for future planning? Go ahead, Armel. Uh, well, absolutely. You know, it's it, it all has to do with uh, partner partnerships uh, between Environment Canada uh, and River Forecast Centre, uh, as well as some of the, the mountain communities uh, and, and the expertise uh, locally in the province. So we uh, are very keenly aware of the rain on snow additional impact uh, that we've seen recently, uh, that we've seen in the past. Uh, Chilliwack has also had floods after a big uh, snow events right down to sea level, and these are things that are part of uh, a part of the thinking behind how we issue forecasts because it certainly does include uh, that component of rising free le freezing levels, the warmth that's associated to these atmospheric rivers, uh, as a, and not independently from uh, the just the rain component in and of itself. So, without question, these are uh, cascading or multi hazard events. And that is part of how uh, we have to adapt to the future climate. Uh, and, and that's a moving target. So it will be continually evaluated uh, as we uh, modernize our, our forecasting systems.